hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel hope you guys are doing good uh, my name is rita for those of you who do not know if you're new to this channel my name is rita and this is Mshuti creations ug page and uh we show you i i show you i share with you my sewing tutorials i teach you how to sew uh i share sewing hacks and i also once in a while i post a personal vlog for you guys to get to know more about me because yeah it's good to know the person you get to watch and uh yeah so if you're interested in that kind of content please first of all subscribe like right now thank you for those of you who have already subscribed and for those of you who haven't please hit that subscribe button uh, don't forget to like my videos don't forget to share and yeah you can also go ahead and hit the notification bell to be notified every time i post a new video and uh, if you're interested in online classes um, I'm going to have a number running down below so my whatsapp number and you can get in touch with me uh, yeah so that's it let's get into the video let's get into today's tutorial and let's see what I have for you today all right thanks have a blessed day um hi guys uh, so today we're going to learn how to make this kids jumpsuit so here I started by marking out my lines. The first one is the chest line and then the waist line and then the hip line. And lastly, that's the knee line, which is going to be our hem. So <clears throat> those are the horizontal lines I marked. Later on, I'm also going to mark the crotch depths. So here I'm marking the chest circumference, which was 24 inches, divide by four. Our fabric is on fold, guys. Remember, whenever you um drafting or making something of a short kind anything that has pants related to it or a skirt or anything it has to be unfold as you can see guys so so i marked uh six inches going um on the chest line i also marked six inches on the waist line um yeah and you know kids kids normally have the same circumference from the chest even up to the hips so this child also had the same circumference. So I marked all together 24 inches divided by 4, which was um, 6 inches. So that's what I marked on all the three lines. And if you've watched my baby shorts tutorials, I'm sure you're going to relate it to this one. Because it's pretty much the same. The only difference is with this one, I added, uh, it has the top part joined together. So here I'm marking the crotch depths, which was seven inches from the from the waistline. That's what I measured on the child. I didn't do the normal calculations for this one. Instead, I just measured on the child, and it it, it fit it fit her perfectly actually. So on the crotch depths, remember if we are drafting our short pant, like our pant, uh, shorts or pants. We still whatever we mark on the on the hip line is what we mark on the waistline guys keep in mind this is going to have elastic at the waist i'm not going to put a zipper so that's why the waist is the same as the hip and also the same as the crotch depth then after that you get your your six inches the whatever you marked on the crotch depth or on the hip line and divide it again by four so here i got 1.5 inches which i am marking right now to get our crotch curve so if you already have seen my video on how to draft a short or a pant or whatever both for female and male both for children and adults it's the same procedure just different um, measurements so then I used my French curve to go in, as you can see, to draw to draw the the, uh, the crotch curve. So now whatever I have there, whatever I have on the crotch dips, that is the six inches plus the one point five. I had my seven inches. Uh, sorry, seven point five inches. So divide that by two and mark it on the crotch line, and also on the knee line, and then draw a straight line. So just follow along. Here I'm going to be working on the lower part. So after that, um, yeah. So as I was saying, uh, after that, I'm going to go in with my 
thigh um horizontal line to, for the thigh um so there i'm just going two inches below the crotch depth line okay below the crotch depth line just go in two inches two inches is okay for a child for an adult normally i do three inches but for a child two inches is okay because they are very short so yeah so i mark that as the thigh and then the lower one is the knee and then after that I'm going to now mark the thigh measurements and the uh, knee measurement on those two lines remaining because I think those are the measurements that I haven't done. So for the thigh measurement and the knee measurement, guys, re always remember for them, we divide them by two. We do not divide by four. We divide into two. So whatever my measurement was, which I don't remember at this point, I only know I divided it by two. Yeah, and then when you get whatever you, uh, your measurement is, you mark, you, you still get the, me the middle point of that measurement and it's what you place on, the, on that middle line that I drew from the crotch. You see that uh, vertical line running from the crotch depth to the knee line? Yeah, you put your like the midpoint put the midpoint there and then mark on one side half of that measurement and also half of this measurement on the on this other side so let me give you an example you see how here on the crotch depth i am marking i think i marked 5.5 inches that means our knee measurement was 11 inches so 11 inches divided by 2 that's 5.5 so you mark um half of the 5.5 inches on the right of that line straight line also the other half on the other side on the left side i hope you guys understand because that helps give the sh the jumpsuit or the short or the trouser shape so here i'm just going in by extra two inches which will accommodate all my seam allowances and they're also going to accommodate yeah it's basically seam allowances and the one one inch for seam allowances half an inch on one side and half an inch on, on the other side because i'm still going to divide the 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 i'm going to cut them into two panels two two panels two for the front and two for the back so joining them will take me half an inch on on the left half an inch on the side and then the other one inch will work will will um uh, work as the is allowance for the child but um um i hadn't told you this but while i was measuring the circumferences of the child i decided to add an extra one to two inches so the the outfit already fits easily like it's not going to be tight remember first of all it's going to have elastic at the waist so it has to be slightly bigger than the actual circumference or actual measurements of the child so then i cut it out that was the front panel so now i'm using the front panel to trace out the back panel here on the back panel we are going to have only one change the rest is going to be the same that's why you can see me tracing it out but it's only at the crotch depth that we are going to change something very very small and that's optional but really advisable so yeah you're advised to do it so on the crotch curve i normally like to go for a for an adult i normally go down by one inch but since this is a child that i'm working with i'm going to go in go down by half an inch just half an inch and then lower the crotch curve just to lower it that's the only other change i'm making on the back panel and then i cut it out too as you can see so guys if you've made it this far in the video please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to share and also don't forget to make your orders with me i will make whatever you want for you uh so you can reach me on my whatsapp number in the intro video so we can talk more since i've been getting clients here on youtube by the way so thank you for all of for all of you who have watched my videos and have decided to give me 
um, some some money. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just uh, marking the front panel and the back panel. As you can see, they are quite similar. The only difference is at the crotch depth, the crotch curve, sorry. So here I'm just aligning the same um, lines on marking the lines on the back panel because I'm going to need them later, especially the waistline, especially the waistline. So here I'm drawing in the waistline on the back panel. Remember, we're going to put elastic and when you're putting elastic, you need you need you need to make sure your elastic is straight and it follows the line very well. So that's what that's why I decided to draw in this line. I also decided to draw it in for, for the front panel too on the other side, which I was not drafting on. So, yeah. And guys, a uh, quick reminder. Uh, if you haven't watched the... I have two... I actually have now three. Yeah, I think... I, yeah, I have three videos on how to draft a short pattern. I have one for babies. I also have one for female. I also have one for men. The one for men has a zipper. The one for female um, is with elastic, yes. And then also the one for the babies is with elastic. So you can go ahead and watch those videos that are, and they, they are doing so well. I think the one for the female is one of my most watched videos. So go ahead and watch it too. And uh, yeah, get a clear gist of what I'm talking about. So here I'm just filling in the the curve for the shorts as you can see because for it i hadn't cut it out this is the part for the thighs and the knee just to give it structure and then after that um as you can see i'm just um i'm separating the panels the front panels and uh, the back panels um and then we are going to go to join yes guys pointing to the crotch curve and I'm aligning the back panel with the back panel and then I'm also going to align the front panel and the front panel so I'm going to stitch there as you can see just stitch on the curve uh, up to the curve up to where the curve ends I'm not going to go down to the thighs or no non yet. so let me yeah I'm going to be back when I'm done here I'm just aligning them to make sure I get everything right. So here I'm back after stitching as you can see by half an inch. And then the thighs, the thighs or the crotch part is open as you can see. So there was the back panel and now this is the front panel. I decided to do the same as you can see. Yeah, so our baby's jumpsuit or kids jumpsuit is already coming together this is for like i think she's like a three year old i'm not so sure I'm, anyway i won't go into ages because kids ages um yeah they confuse me so here i'm just getting the elastic that i'm going to use for the waist so remember how waist was 24 inches i already have an elastic here that's 24 inches and i'm so you know how creatives don't like to waste or tailors don't like to waste? Yeah, I'm that kind of person. So I decided not to cut this out, like to reduce it because it was already cut like that. It was like one of the remaining elastic pieces I had before opening a new batch. So first of all, I'm going to join one side, one side of the front panel and one side of the back panel together i'm just going to join it and then stitch the waist as you can see so i i stitched the first um the first i was supposed to put one elastic band but then the one of the 24 inches but i realized it was not gathering enough so i decided to add a second elastic band which was slightly smaller for it, I think I used the one for, I think it was about uh, 12 inches, no, 14 inches, yeah. 
I just decided to deduct 10 inches from it. So I joined it together so that you can, that's why you can see that cinched twist, kind of cinched twist. So then I joined the other side too. So both the side panels are joined. Now I'm going to work on the armhole. This is, uh, so remember that uh, the shoulder to shoulder measurement is uh, 12 inches. So 12 inches, that's divided by two, that's six inches. So I'm going in by six inches. I mark the six inches and then going down here, I'm me measuring the length to make sure it fits. And then um, I decided to mark my armhole at six inches. And then come down like that but later on i got to reduce it from the six inches of camera and i forgot to record that i actually cut it down to i reduced it from six inches uh shoulder to shoulder with it to uh yeah i marked the neck, neck depth at four inches yeah no three inches three inches yeah if i remember correctly i marked it at three inches so here it's at six inches but that's a bit wide but later on i do it off camera and i reduce it to six inches to three inches so i would suggest um you your armhole with this the length can stay the same because when she put it on the armhole depth was okay six inches but then the the width um i made it three inches which was also very okay for her so i did that while stitching before she came in for a fitting and then uh now i'm going to add i'm going to add this what do you call that like a gathered i don't know a gathered design uh using elastic steel and uh by the way it's the child who chose this design so i was trying to make sure she she is really really happy about it and uh i would have shown her reaction but i don't like um exposing people's kids so yeah you won't get to see her but she was really really happy with the result so guys first of all this thing played me here i've done it several times but yeah it played me this time so instead of putting it uh on on the because you're supposed to put you're supposed to put this 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 design thing the design fabric uh right side facing the wrong side of the fabric so that when you turn it on the other side it it's the right side that's facing on top i did the other way around so i had to seam rip it and repeat it again so yeah but now this is the right side i think yeah this is after me correcting it so now i'm going to add uh i'm going to add what the straps that that the jumpsuit also had blue straps which i what which i made uh, i cut at nine inches because remember the shoulder to the chest line uh while drafting i made sure it is um four inches I started with three inches but then remember i'm going to have to add elastic and that design which is going to take away about which took her about an inch so it remained at four inches so meaning eight inches is enough for the straps and then the other one inch half an inch on the front half an inch on the back to use as a joining allowance so that's why i cut out nine inch straps as you can see so here i'm just pinning them um in the right places so that when she puts them on they come out really nicely and that's at three inches as you can see guys remember what i told you that i reduced the shoulder to shoulder shoulder to shoulder allowance or the neck width from six inches to three inches yeah that's what i meant so I, i'm doing three inches everywhere both for the front and the back and then i'm making i'm also making sure the straps are at four inches front four inches back making a total of eight inches so yeah and i think we are done with at this point i just uh stitch the 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 straps on and we're good to go so that's how that the 
that's how it turned out so beautiful it's a beautiful 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 color it looked so good on her she loved it she loved every single bit about it and that's like that's my goal if my client likes what they want what they ordered for or they get what like they get exactly what they ordered for yeah that's my best part I <music>